The details tonight as we've learned a 14 year old and a 17 year old could be facing adult felony charges for their alleged roles in a car trace chase that led to a gun battle between Tulsa police and some suspects. That chase was breaking news on Fox 23 News at 9 and 10 last night. Tonight, those teens are in jail along with one other suspect. The fourth suspect is in the hospital. New at 10, Fox 23 Sarah Whaley is live with what she's learned about this case in the last hour. Sarah. Now, police say those two teenagers were not there during that initial carjacking that led to the car chase last night, but police say they were a part of that car chase later on with the other two suspects hanging out the windows, pointing guns at them as they drove uh, through North Tulsa. So right now it's really up to the district attorney to decide what kind of charges, if any, that he will file. Just one day before his 18th birthday, this young man is headed to jail. Running from the police is just the stupidest thing you can do. Robbery Sergeant Brandon Watkins says even worse is running from police and shooting at them. Although this guy claims his innocence. Did you shoot at police? No. Tulsa police say they know for sure it was him and three of his family members who wreaked havoc on the town Thursday night. Police say it started with a carjacking on Highway 169. And just two hours later, that high risk police chase. 107, I believe he was firing out his window. Detectives say the suspects were hanging out of the windows of the stolen car with guns. The three passengers jumping out and scattering just minutes before the driver crashed at Pine and Trenton in North Tulsa. That termination point, chaos. Well, you're not even more officers at Pine and Trenton. We need to turn around and go back to Elba Terrace to get the third hole. Which they did. Three suspects were captured right away, and the fourth on Friday. As it stands now, 26 year old Sonny McCombs is in jail, along with the 17 year old and the 14 year old. Police shot the 21 year old driver. He's still in the hospital. And police say they were able to recover several BB guns from the scene. But those officers, they, they reported seeing actual muzzle flashes during the chase. Police believe that there are actual guns in play as well. They are still looking to recover those. Reporting live here in downtown, covering news that matters, Sarah Whaley, Fox 23 News.